Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at screening an object, so lightening part of an object in Illustrator. I have a flower here on a background and the way I want to lighten the object is by placing a white filled rectangle over the top of it. So I'm just going to do just that. Now in Photoshop you could lighten things using a screen blend mode. That's not working here in Illustrator. As you can see when I change the blend mode to screen, nothing's happening. So I'm going back to normal. All I'm going to do is to reduce the opacity. And in reducing the opacity, I'm getting the effect that I want. Well, part of it at least. What I've got is that the flower is divided in two and I am getting a lightning effect on one side of it. The problem is that this 37% opacity rectangle is actually affecting the background as well and that's not a desired effect. Also, if I was to save this object as a ping image, leaving the background behind, I'm still going to get this sort of semi-transparent area appearing in my ping image. It's just not going to be appropriate. So let's just lock that down, close up the layers panel. Let's go to a duplicate of this flower that I have over here and see how we're going to solve that problem. To do this, I'm going back to my rectangle. I'm going back to the white fill, just going to drag it over the top of the object and I'm going back to reducing the opacity. So let's just dial the opacity down. I'm going to look at the placement of this rectangle, just make sure it's placed correctly before I go ahead. I'm going to lock this object at this point because what I want to do is to select the flower and it's easier to lock the rectangle down so that I can select the flower. At this point, you could group the objects for the flower. It might make good sense to do that with object and then group. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that flower. So I'm going to choose edit and then copy. I'm going to click away because now I have a copy of the flower on the clipboard. I'm going to unlock this rectangle here so that I can get access to it. I'm going to select it and we're going to use the transparency panel by choosing window and then transparency. These are the same transparency options that you do have through the appearance panel. It's just that the transparency panel seems to work better because it stays open when you're working with it. We have our shape selected here, so I'm just going to click on Make Mask. And then I'm going to target the mask. So when I target the mask, you can see that the layers panel changes. This is the image. This is the layers panel when I'm editing the image. This is the mask. This is the layers panel when I'm editing the mask. It's really important to understand that. While we're editing the mask, I'm going to paste this flower back in, but I want it to go exactly where it came from. So I'm going to choose edit and then paste in place. And it's gone straight over the top of where it had been originally. Now at this point, you can have a look at whether invert mask is going to give you a better result. In this case, it doesn't. I've got a very, very definite lightening of this flower by not inverting my mask. You don't want to disable clip because what that does is it just brings that rectangle back again and we don't want to see it. We do want to clip the rectangle to the shape of the flower. Before we finish up here, there's one really important thing to do and that is to exit this opacity mask editing before you finish. So you're just going to click here on this object. You can see it's now got a border around it. You can see your layers panels back where it should be. And when I just click away from the flower, everything looks perfect. Now, if at this stage you're not happy with the amount of transparency that you've got here, if the lightning effect is not what you want, you're just going to go and re-click on your rectangle. And now you can go back to your opacity and you can adjust the opacity slider so you can get a lighter effect or a less lighter effect. So whatever you want at this point, you just need to adjust the slider until you get it. Click away and we're done. Now this entire object, it would be better if it all traveled together so that we didn't move the rectangle without taking the flower with us. So I would group that again. So just choose object and then group. So inside your group, you've got your white rectangle rectangle and you've got your flower. Everything's going to move so as soon as you click on it and drag, everything's going with it. The other thing to be aware of is that this flower, let me just go and get it for a minute, 
is fully transparent around the edges. So if we save this as a ping image, we're going to get this lightning effect, but we're going to have a fully transparent area around the flower that rectangle is being cropped by the clipping mask. So anytime you need to add an effect such as a lightning or darkening to part of an image, you can mask it using this process. Thank you to the subscriber who asked the question. I think it's a really good question. It's one that does not have an obvious answer. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.